This is Duke University. We don't think of everyday things like cranberries and coffee beans as macroscopic particles, but Duke physicist Bob Berenger does. In Berenger's lab, graduate student Zheng Yao Tang has created simulated particles that show how coffee beans, grains, and other macroscopic particles interact. The major goal of the research is to explain how individual grains contribute to a jam in something like a grain hopper. Tang does this by tracking individual particles, how they interact, and what stresses they put on one another. In this footage from an experimental two-dimensional hopper, he has marked the seven particles that eventually come together to form the jam, and he can see what paths those particles took. Tang says it's now easier to see that the jamming particles come from completely different locations higher in the hopper, and that they have no obvious correlation to each other. Looking at the particles with polarized light, Tang can see the stresses between them, and also the distribution in chains of force that extend to the top of the hopper. As the particles flow, the chains break down, and then rebuild when one chain is formed near the opening as the system jams. Measuring how jamming particles interact may lead to more efficient hopper designs and could improve how space vehicles are landed on grainy surfaces like the moon. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.